Dear son, beautiful day. What more could you ask for? Um, yeah. So I thought I'd come outside, do a bit of filming. Um, yeah, it's good. Anyway, so today we're talking about acceptance. Now everything's so intertwined. Like, like, talking, like it's such a big topic, social inclusion, but judgmentalism and acceptance they're like polar opposites like one shall not live while the other survives Let's see if you can get that quote <laughs> i know everyone will anyway um so i tried to think back as to what i've um done with my life and really i asked the acceptance question it took a while but there's probably one that stood out to me the, the most uh, so yeah so here we go I remember when I went back to high school full time in year 8 um, uh, I would sit, like during lunchtime and recess, I would sit up in the aids room, the integration room, um, and not really go out and physically pursue my mates, like harass them. No, no, just like say they aren't. So, like I, I had nothing wrong with the aids room. I absolutely loved it, but it was a really different my age group, I suppose. So looking back, I wasn't, well, kind of partly mentioned it, um, I wasn't really accepting to actively go out and seek my mates, um, which is no one's fault for mine. Um, but then again, I had limitations, so it's understandable. But like I said in the last video, all, all I had to do was ask. But I've learned from it, so it's life course, I suppose. For example, all my mates over the lunchtime break generally, um, they would go up to Macca's or the basketball court. Macca's! Um, gotta love it. Um, and, and like, literally, this is how my brain operated at the time. I would, I would contemplate each time and say, say to myself, by the time I get up there, it'll be the time that I, I've got to go back. That was the kind of attitude I had. Instead of my willingness and the want and need to talk to my friends and say, screw it, I don't care if I actually, like I only get 20 minutes as opposed to the 50 minutes I'll get up, get up in the ocean. That That was, my mind state right at that period of time. Um, if you if you want to put labels on it, I'd say accessibility was the biggest barrier, and because of the accessibility, my limitation, um, it, it brought me down to attitude and like and not having that willingness. So at the end of the day, it comes around to mentality. And like now, I'm fine. So one of my mates in particular um, joined up joined up there with me in the AIDS room, the integration room, 
after the meeting me with me um, on getting to know me through class. Um, and this was of course like towards the end of year eight or nine, I'm not, not really 100% sure. Anyway, a year doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> um, where him and then they um, came up and started chatting with me, started doing the quiz, started, started doing the footy tipping uh, on a Wednesday, I think it was. Um, and then from that, they kind of built my confidence, built my one, the one to go out and actually choose the name to my military organization. And so really, they gave me a pump to my show. Very much. So yeah. The word that fits acceptance in place, as a photos, would be 50-50 attitude. Because, like, at the end of the day, I had to have the ability to accept my limitations, accept I'd only get 20 minutes of good quality, top-notch combo, um, as rather as opposed to 50 minutes and really not seeing myself having an access, accessibility barrier or problem. But on the other hand, um, my mates had to be there in the first place by coming up, seeing me with me, chilling with me, and um, and to giving me the prompt, I suppose. I find this this quote sums up my mates. My mates fifty, pretty damn well. Um, I'll read it to you. So, the disability acceptance as a series of changes in values which an individual extends his or her range of values places, places less importance on critical thinking without physical abilities and places in, increased importance on one's remaining abilities, which they did. Um, love and poor. Anyway, um, enough for me blabbing on. Um, yeah, that, that was really from my perspective. I don't, I don't know. If other people have other views on acceptance, but that's my view. Um, and so, uh, yeah. I might mention um, some very good films that are intertwined with the A and the J um, is Raising Phoenix, um, it's about Paralympians, it's on Netflix, um, it's really good, um, and Freeman, Freeman, which was on a few nights ago, um, yeah. The next stage will be um, talking about what's to come or forming connections or something. I don't really know. I've got uni coming up, so I might be a bit off the air. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know. All right, catch you later. Adios.